In this brief video, I am going to discuss the metaphysical issue of personal identity using a modern example, the Star Trek teleporter. Let's get started. Here are the basics of the teleporter. The teleporter teleports things by teleporting them from point A to point B. But this really doesn't define what a teleporter is or how it functions. Here I'm going to cover at least three different ways of talking about what a teleporter actually does. For our purposes, I'm going to call these three concepts the zapped concept, the continuous disassemble concept, and the discontinuous disassemble concept. First, the zapped concept goes like this. Suppose there is an individual named Spork. When we press the teleport button, Spork is instantaneously zapped from point A to point B. Now, second, here is the continuous disassemble concept. In this case, when we press the teleport button, Spork is disassembled down to his teeny tiny molecular bits. And these teeny tiny molecular bits move like a stream through time and space from point A to point B, and then Spork is reassembled at point B. Finally, third is the discontinuous disassemble concept. In this case, we press the teleport button and Spork is instantaneously disassembled into teeny tiny molecular bits. These bits are uploaded into the teleport machine at point A, and then the machine downloads the bits at point B, where Spork is reassembled. So here is your thought experiment. When Spork is teleported from point A to point B, there is a question about what happens to Spork in transit. When we press the button to teleport Spork from A to B, there is a sense in which Spork is destroyed and recreated at B. But does this mean that the real spork is at point A, and the spork at B is merely a copy? If so, then isn't the teleporter machine really a death machine, and by pressing the button, we've murdered Spock, and the spork at B is a kind of Franken-spork? This leads to our second and final thought experiment. Suppose we want to maintain that Spork is still Spork when he teleports from point A to point B. If that's the case, then what happens if there is a teleporter malfunction and Spork is reassembled at four different spots? If Spork is the same from point A to point B, then it seems that he must also be the same from A to C and A to D as well but all four sporks can't be the same spork. That's it for now. Thank you for watching, and until next time, take care.